Before it was called the Sundial Lodge, this motel began as the Reading Travel Lodge, opened by Howard and Lorraine Pistole in 1958. Building contractor Scott King to open the original Travel Lodge in San Diego in 1940. He developed the Sleepy Bear logo that was used through the 1980s. Travel Lodge was the motel industry's pioneer of the co-ownership method of operation where owner managers and the company paid equal shares of the lease or mortgage. Most of the time the co-owner managed the motel property taking 10% of gross room revenues as a management fee. Profits before depreciation were divided equally. Like many travel lodges, this motel was built on a major road and near the downtown business district. The Reading Travel Lodge looked like its brethren due to their common color schemes, signage, and building materials. It has a familiar layout of many American hotels with its two-story L-shaped building and large open parking lot that provides easy access to one's room and the city streets. Although we don't know if it's original, one design deviation is its covered parking space in front of the office, which we see right here. It requires one to back out before proceeding, while most motels offer a drive-through for easier checking in, checking out, or visiting the office. Motels like the Reading Travel Lodge remove some uncertainties while traveling by providing a basic level of service implied if not guaranteed by franchising. Such a motel followed operational procedures and met quality control standards required of franchisees. The Reading Travel Lodge offered moderately priced accommodations without frills while emphasizing dependability, comfort, cleanliness and friendly hospitality. It also leveraged the Travelodge network to advertise outside the local area and provide details on future destinations to its customers. Motels and hotels have historically highlighted their proximity to local activities and attractions and link their business to the experiences to be enjoyed in the area. As an independent motel, this establishment now called the Sundial Lodge continues this tradition. First there is the connection between the motel's name and the Sundial Bridge, the local tourist attraction that opened in 2004. Additionally, its logo with images of the bridge, sun, and water reinforces its association to the area's man-made and natural landscape and indirectly to the fishing, hiking, swimming, and skiing to be enjoyed in the North State. <laughs>